All right, so AutoCAD's crashed. We've all been in this place. AutoCAD crashes often and consistently sometimes, and you never really know what to do first and kind of the step-to-step -step process to get our drawings back. In today's video, we're gonna be walking through my kind of go-to initial steps whenever I lose or crash an AutoCAD drawing, or even if I can't find one that I know should be somewhere. These are all steps to help recover, restore, and kind of get back to where you were before you ran into that crash. So let's jump into today's video. All right, so step one in my AutoCAD recovery checklist or process is to open up AutoCAD again. Um, typically, you're going to have a recovered drawing or recovery option provided to you. Uh, and if not, you can always open up the drawing recovery manager by typing in drawing recovery in the command line here. Drawing recovery is that command. And you can see I've already got mine open here. By default, this is probably going to be open when you open up AutoCAD for the first time after a crash or failure. So if we take a look at it over here on the left, this is gonna be your home base or first stop after that failure or a missing drawing or a crash of some sort. It's gonna give you a list of all of the recent files you've been working on as well as the backup options for each file. So if we go down near the bottom here, these will be the most recent ones typically near the bottom. And you can see this example at the very bottom here, drawing one, which I may have been working on when AutoCAD crashed. You can see the DWG, that's your original or current file. And if you click on it, you can see in the details uh, down below, you can see the preview down here, and in the details, you can see the last time it was saved. So you can see this one was saved a few days ago on October 8th uh, at 10.03 p.m. Now, what you'll also want to check is what other options are available here. Sometimes there will be a recover file, uh, and that's if it, AutoCAD was able to create that before it crashed, or you'll have the auto save file, which is the .sv dollar sign. This is AutoCAD's automatic save file. So as you're working on drawings by default, it's going to create one of these in a specific location on your temp folder every 10 to 20 minutes, depending on how you've got it set up. If you stick around till later in the video, I'll show you how to set those up, as well as I'm gonna show you a few tips and tricks to cleaning up and preventing crashes in general, but that's later on. For now, we're looking at how to recover our drawings. So again, you're gonna to wanna to choose the one you wanna start with. You can even choose multiples of these, but basically select one, right click on it and click open. 